For more than 50 years, Amnesty International has been fighting to stamp out one of the most insidious acts one human being can perpetrate against another. Torture. Combating torture is part of our history, it's our legacy and our future. We have reports coming in daily from all over the world of individuals who are being tortured or groups who are being tortured. The torture of prisoners is practiced as part of the arm of government. And this is what we're trying to fight in the world at the moment. And that is why we have dedicated this year a campaign against the utilization of torture. We got the Nobel Peace Prize in 1977, and that was for us a, a great surprise. We had heard nothing about it in advance. And of course, we were very happy. Come to the rostrum and receive on behalf of Amnesty International, the Nobel Peace Prize for 1977. It did mean an international recognition uh, and more interest, not least in the media. Ces lettres sont la mauvaise conscience de tous les gouvernements. Amnesty International is a conspiracy of hope. In over 60 countries, torture is still systematically used. Time to play Wheel of Misfortune. That's right, the exciting new game show where you bet your freedom against physical torture and abuse. Action is needed in the United Nations to ban torture. This campaign must succeed. We have to make it succeed. The Assembly wishes to adopt the Convention against torture and other cruel, inhuman or degrading treatment or punishment. It is so decided. That, Mr. Chairman, would be the only complete solution to the problem. Amnesty had developed its own urgent action network. The UN themselves developed an urgent appeal facility. And so, inevitably, that was very dependent on receiving Amnesty's urgent appeals. Since 1980, we have taken action in over 3,000 individual cases in 50 countries. It's the 30th anniversary of Amnesty International. However, in spite of all the cases we have worked on since 1961, two out of three people are still ruled by governments that torture and kill their own citizens. Si je vous cause, c'est pour une noble cause. Sortir Kim Song-man de prison, sa seule infraction, délit d'opinion, torturé. Join Muhammad Ali and Amnesty International to ban the belt. Je lui ai dit, sauvez-moi, tu es un médecin, tu es noble, ne me laisse pas ici. Tue-moi et ne, ne, ne le laisse pas torturer. Con qui torture ou con Amnesty? When we're not listening, people are tortured, imprisoned and killed for their beliefs. Activists in over 100 countries will stand up and take a step to stamp out torture. The right not to be tortured is an absolute right, irrespective of the identity of the person. Torture is not a tool of justice, but of terror, and it is wrong under any circumstances. Some people are above the law, and others are outside it. Guantanamo has become the gulag of our times. Our latest campaign in our long battle is a rallying call to everybody. Together, we can stop torture. And we can do it if we stand between the tortured and the tortured. Together, we will intervene whenever people are tortured. Together, we will hold torturers to account. Torture survivors will know that they're not forgotten and not alone. This is what we stand for as Amnesty International. Stand with us.